I'm gonna hide behind, hide behind the mountain. I'm gonna hide behind the mountain where the cheering winds don't blow. Behind the mountain, I'm gonna hide behind, hide behind the mountain. I'm gonna hide behind, hide behind the mountain. Jesus is the mountain. I know that Jesus is. Jesus is. the mountain I'm gonna hide behind hide behind well I'm gonna hide behind hide behind the mountain where the air winds don't blow the chilly Jesus is the mountain. I know that Jesus is. Jesus is. things, hallelujah, and encourage themselves in the Lord, hallelujah. Chilly winds don't blow, chilly winds don't blow, chilly winds don't blow, chilly winds don't blow, the chilly winds don't blow, cause Jesus is the mountain, and I'm 
gonna hide behind, hide behind the mountain. I'm gonna hide, hide behind. his protection hallelujah throughout the years hallelujah for thousands and thousands of years hallelujah for 500 years of slavery hallelujah 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 i am the hope of the slave hallelujah 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 i'm a dream come true hallelujah we a dream come true hallelujah we thank you lord jesus for the faith hallelujah of our ancestors glory to your name Oh, I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell you what Jesus said. Repent of your sins and be baptized. Repent of your sins and be baptized. Oh, I came to tell you. Anybody here been lost? Uh -huh. Anybody here been lost? Uh -huh. Anybody here been lost? Uh -huh. But Jesus found you, uh -huh. and you're free at last. Uh -huh. Anybody free at last? Uh -huh. Anybody free at last? Uh -huh. I stepped in the water. Uh -huh. I stepped in the water. Uh -huh. Chill my body. Uh -huh. Chill my body. Uh -huh. But not my soul. Amazing grace uh -huh. that I feel the sound uh -huh. that saved the wretch uh -huh. that saved the wretch uh -huh. that saved the wretch uh -huh. a wretch like me uh -huh. I once was lost uh -huh. anybody here been lost uh -huh. anybody here been lost uh -huh. but Jesus found you uh -huh. and you're free at last uh -huh. anybody free at Anybody free at last? Uh -huh. I came to tell you what Jesus said. Jesus, you are 
word to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Not like our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy of the glory, God. You are worthy of all honor, Lord. Hallelujah. And God, we say thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The song said, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that save a wretch like me. We thank God for saving us. Hallelujah. Our Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, God, for your many blessings, God, that you have bestowed upon us. God, we thank you for this day, God, and every day, God, that you have given us, God. But, Lord, we come in here today, God, hallelujah, with a spirit of praise, with a spirit of worship, with a spirit of adoration, with a spirit of thanksgiving to our God, hallelujah, that you may have your way, God, for you are the way, the truth, and the life, God. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, God, hallelujah you bless our bishop with a boldness to preach your word today God Lord we pray you will set a fire in his soul like never before God hallelujah fresh your God fresh anointing God like never before God we just thank you God open up our hearts God that we will be able to receive the word that the man of God bring forth God in the name of Jesus bless his family bless our church God bless our offering God in the name of Jesus and God bless those that could give and couldn't give. But God, we all got something we can give you. And that is a praise. In Jesus' name, we do praise. Amen. Oh, I know Jesus. Jesus is my rock. My rock.
tired, Lord. Yes, Lord. I get weary. Yes, Lord. I get warm. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. In your word. Yes, Lord. Are you peace? Yes, Lord. A little bit. Yes, Lord. And I know that Jesus. Jesus is my rock. My rock. My soul is she. Oh, walk away. Hands together, yes, Lord. I know Jesus, yes, Lord. He's my rock, yes, Lord. Yes, He is, yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, yes, Lord. Cause I read, yes, Lord. In your word, yes, Lord. How you feel, yes, Lord. A little bit, yes, Lord. And I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock. I know Jesus, Jesus is my rock. He's my rock, yes, He is. Rock of Ages. Jesus is my rock. Is he your rock? Jesus is my rock. Yes, he is. Jesus is my rock. My rock, my soul is she. Put those hands together for the Lord. Just have a little bit of old time church for a little bit. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Put those hands together for the Lord right there. Come on, put those hands together. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, years ago, we didn't have all the instruments in our churches. We had a tambourine and a big old bass drum and some washboards. Amen. And that's what we had. But folk loved each other. We cared for each other. Amen. We prayed for each other. Amen. If anybody was hungry, we fed them. If they need shelter, we did what we had to do. Amen. We don't want to get so sanctified we forget what God called us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank the Lord. Amen. I thank the Lord. Amen. For where he brought us from. Glory to God. When I was a little boy, we walked to church. Now, we got cars and folk don't want to holler come. Amen. We got air conditioning now and heat in the house. When I was a little boy, we had to get wood in. Amen. We had to start the fire and go back to bed so the parents can get dressed. And then restart the fire so you can get dressed. Praise the Lord. So God's been good to us. Hallelujah. God's been good to us. Amen. He's been good to us. He's been good to us. And I want to thank the Lord for all of you. And those who are listening to us. Who've sown into this ministry. Continue to sow into it. We, we have a great things that are going on here at Bible Way. And we're looking forward. I want to congratulate. Amen. Uh, brother and Sister Hankerton. On their receiving the award, the history award for the month of January. Praise the Lord. I, I don't think they're here yet. Name of the Lord. But also, I want to congratulate um, Schofield Middle School girls. Amen. Coach West, her staff, winning the championship. Amen. I tell you, some great things are happening at Bible Way. Amen. And again, we want to thank the Lord. For all of you in the name of the Lord, we're excited about an upcoming a convention coming up at the end of this month, the first week in March. We're running a bus. I hope your name on the, t on the, on the roster. Amen. We're running a bus that Wednesday night. Amen. Asking all clergy to please come in your civics as, as we honor our presider. That's his request in the name of the Lord. Amen. The bus will leave here by what time? Around 4. 
4.30. Amen. And we'll have you back here in good time for, for Thursday in the name of the Lord. Um, most of the time, our convention service ends around, what, 10? About 10, 10.30. But um, after that, amen, you can come on back. Amen. My advice to you is, amen, if you take your, pack your lunch, whatever you got to do, you probably won't see me much as I come in, then have to go back out uh, because of the duties that I hold there. But I'm looking forward to having you there and experience something great in the name of the Lord. I want to remind all leaders, I need to see you quickly after service, just for a few moments, because we have to get to the Temple of Faith. It's their anniversary today, 44 years. And they're celebrating their church anniversary, which is our state Dawson at 3 o'clock. If you can come, come go with us. His speaker is none other than Bishop Terry Jones out of Gaston, Alabama. Amen. A preaching machine. Amen. And so if you can come go with us, come go with us there in the name of the Lord. I also want to remind all of you, there's so much going on here at Bible Way. On the 24th and 25th of March next month is our central district meeting, which is our conference. And you'll hear more about that. And I just believe in God for a great outpouring of his spirit like never before. How many feel you need a fresh anointing? Amen. I believe in God. Amen. I believe in the Lord. Amen. And God is opening doors for others in the name of the Lord. And we're just looking forward to just working in the kingdom of God and just enhancing the kingdom. Amen. That souls can come in and be saved. Amen. Look at somebody and say, I'm not jealous of nobody. I'm just happy for my anointing. Uh, then now come on and praise God for it. Come on and praise him. Amen. I, I saw the Hankerton cancer. Brother Hankerton come in. Again, we want to congratulate you and first uh, Sister Hankerton. Amen. Amen. Oh, I know it's um, Brother, um, what's your nephew's name? All-Star. Alan. Alan. Amen. Alan Cummins, he made the all-star team. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's one of our young deacons in training. Amen. And they remind us of it too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 I know sometimes you look at young people and look at how they live and so forth, but you got to remember we live just as bad. Amen. And God was patient with us. We need to be patient with them. Amen. Amen. And so we want to congratulate him. Amen. We couldn't make the all-star. We had made a prior commitment to be with some, another commitment yesterday. And I knew the boxing team was in Columbia and I wanted to get there too. But I couldn't make but one place. But I, I, I thought some prayers were with you. I know y'all took it all and didn't beat up people too bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Congrats, man. Congrats. 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 So God is doing some great things. Amen. And I know some, somebody will be saying, but why are you supporting boxing? You support football. Amen. Folk, folk getting the head knocked off, concussions, bone, bone breaking, and you all up in church. Oh, that's my team. Amen. Amen. Come on here. Amen. Don't be a hypocrite. Amen. Amen. I'm for any young people doing something good and constructive. Amen. All right. And, and I want to thank you for the prayers of praying for Lady Dwight. She's, she's getting better. She's getting better. Amen. She's getting better. I think her biggest thing now, how, she, how I'm going to put up with this husband. <laughs> for, for all y'all ladies trying to marry a preacher, pray hard. <laughs> you better say, help, Lord, help. But uh, I, 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 I love the Lord. I think church ought to be fun, but yet anointing. Amen. I, I, 
I, I feel like when you come to church, it ought to be a place you can come and express yourself to God and be free doing it, not be judged. Amen. I, that's, that's how I feel. I, that's, that's me now. I, and, you know, other folk may feel like you got to sit like a zombie and be quiet and do what I say. You know, I, I feel if you got the Holy Spirit, you act accordingly. Amen. All right. Y'all ready for some word? All right, all right, all right. I'm going, I, I, I was in my office and I had a sermon all written out and God began to deal with me. And so y'all excuse me if it don't fit your, but this is what God shift me to as if he didn't know what he wanted to say. It just that I had a hard time listening. Amen. Y'all ever been there? Amen. I, I want to go to Second Kings, chapter four. Second Kings, chapter four. And while we are going there, I, I, I want you to, I want us to grow out of our shell of being to ourselves. I, I want us to really start caring for each other. Checking on each other, just just a text, you know. Y'all, y'all young folk can work them gadgets. You know, you don't have to even. In, in my day, you know, we had them old phones. I ought to see if I can get one of them old phones. It blow y'all young people mind. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, we, we you had to ring, ring, then had to come back, then you rang again, had to come back, then you rang again, had to come back. <laughs> And then, then you hope the line was clear because they had about three or four parties on one line. <laughs> okay. So I want us to care for each other. Amen. Look out for each other. Pray for each other. Check on each other. You see somebody missing, just send them a text. Hey, I was thinking about your mission. Okay. Let's, 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 let's be about our father's business. Okay. All right. Second Kings chapter four, verse one through verse six. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, my servant, my husband is dead. And thou knowest that my, thy servant did fear the Lord and the creditors is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondsmen. Notice something. He's a man of God. He fears the Lord, but he's a poor business planner. He don't plan for his family. I hope y'all catch my message. You know, maybe y'all need to sit down on this message. Okay, because uh, too many of us as African-American males think that you shouldn't prepare for your loss. Life insurance is not for you, it's for your family. And let me say this very humbly to all our brothers. It's your responsibility to cover your family. Don't leave your family in debt. Get some insurance. Amen. And I'm not talking about enough to put you in the ground. Some money that they can have. When you gone. So she can live. You sitting there worrying about who she gonna get. <laughs> Take care of your family. I, I wish I could blank this off of Facebook right quick. But I, I have to be careful how I say this. You, you got to understand something. You got to understand a principle in the body of Christ and in the church, in the word of God. If a female brings a child in the world by you, it means she sees you worthy enough to stay alive on the earth. That's what she just said. Because we're supposed to have dominion. We're supposed to take care of our environment. Y'all stick with me. I, I'm going to preach in a minute. But it's just a sidebar. 
I'm coming back. I haven't lost myself. You got to understand the thing that disturbed me at my age now. I see too many African Americans, male. You're trying to get yourself together, but I see too many dying and leaving your family in turmoil. If she carries your child for nine months, she's worthy to be taken care of. Take care of those children. Leave some money behind, man. Get some insurance. And y'all young men, get yourself together. Quit bringing babies in the world and you ain't got a job. Y'all young ladies, learn to say no. Be, 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 I'm serious. Learn to say no. You got to learn that some, the world mentality is, especially in some young men, you ain't nothing but a trophy. Get yourself, I know I'm preaching hard. This ain't the kind of sermon I should be preaching. I, I should be telling you Jesus going to work it out. and You're going to get a pocket full of money and and then you go home broke. Come, come put $100 in my hand and God going to bless you. You better go pay your bills. <laughs> Amen. Let me say this. I know it's going to make some preachers. I may never get invited back to nobody's church. You owe God your tithe. Your offering is free will. You don't sacrifice your bill money on the table. You pay your bills. You stay in a you stay in a house you don't own. You got to pay taxes. You got to pay insurance. If you renting, you owe rent. Don't tell me you put your rent money on the table. No, no, I'm gonna give it back to you and say go pay it. That ain't no sacrifice. Your sacrifice should come out of your chicken money. Your hamburger money. Your heart is in, in, in Chick-fil-A. Go ahead, sister. Help me out. The restaurant money. You know you can't afford it. But you're trying to hang in with the crowd. I'm preaching hard. See, this man left his family in debt. Even though he feared the Lord, he left his family in debt and the creditors don't care whether you save or not. He want his money. SCNG want them, well they ain't SCNG no more, Dominion. They want their money. Aiken Co-op, they want their money. You can hallelujah, Eka Messiah, you gonna be in the dark. This man left his family in turmoil. This is Black History Month, am I right? Too many of us is leaving our families in turmoil. I heard a story the other day, just frustrated me. I told my wife about it. A lady bought her daughter a $100,000 car and she didn't want it. Because she wanted a pink Mercedes. A Mercedes don't even come in paint. <laughs> 16 years old. She better be glad that wasn't her dad. She had a bicycle. <laughs> Quit putting your parents in debt. Because you're trying to keep up with your peers. School costs. Tuition costs. Mama, I want this. Dad, I want that. All this free time on your iPhone, get a job. If you can stay up to 2 o'clock in the morning watching TV, you can get a job. I, I, I better stick to my text. Verse number two, Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for thee? 
Monica, he comes to the prophet. She comes, she comes to the church. She comes after husband and left her in debt because he ain't prepared. My brothers and my sisters, the wellest day in your life, you, you're good enough to leave here. Tomorrow ain't promised to none of us. We're living in terrible times. Yes, we would love to go home and, and fall asleep like Simon next and wake up in heaven, but that don't work that way. Our bodies deal with problems. Our bodies deal with sicknesses. When your mama and your daddy tell, me, tell you they hurting, they hurting. It costs to visit the doctor. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. I'm preaching hard today. Your mama done gone through surgery and you in the house stumping. Sit down. Help clean up. Wash some clothes. Learn how to do laundry. That helps. Quit making a mess in the kitchen. And then walk off because you want to have a sandwich. Dishes full of, sink full of dishes. Come on. We African Americans, our parents didn't teach us like that. They taught us to be dignity, have some dignity, some pride about ourselves. Carry yourself in a, in a manner that's respectful. Y'all young men, pull your pants up. Nobody want to see your underwear. I want to say something to the young ladies, but I'm in the wrong position right now. Quit showing everything. If you ain't selling, don't advertise. We people of God. We supposed to be holy people. Righteous people. That's why, the, that's why Jesus, when he was on the earth, he said those in the world are much more wiser than the children of light. We got to get wise to our, our circumstance, what's going on around us. Your time out. Let's get wise. He goes to the man of God and lies to him. Well, what shall I do? She said, he, he said, tell me, what has thou in the house? She said, now, the handmaid have not anything in the house save a pot of oil. All, all my husband left me is a little oil. Two sons that can work. That's what he left me. Can I do another sidebar? Plan for your future. Quit living hand to mouth. Quit spending every dime you get. Stop that. Learn to invest some money. Learn. I know the Lord can come, but you don't need money in heaven. You don't need no alligator shoes up there. You need Gucci and all that stuff up there. He's the Lord. I know he's stylish, but we're, we're, we're the body of Christ. We're not the world. Praise the Lord. Then he said, go borrow these vessels abroad of thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons. I love that part of the scripture. Too many of us letting the wrong people in our house. You're telling all your business. They know all your business. Young women, quit talk, talking about your husband to other women. And vice versa. 
You're just setting yourself up for a problem. And shall pour out into those vessels. Thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons and who brought the vessels to her. And she poured out. Came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son, bring me yet another vessel. Bring me yet a vessel. And he, said, and he said unto her, there's not a vessel more in the all stayed. Now I can get into my sermon. Can I preach for a moment? Whatever you do, don't let your all stop. He asked her, what you have in your house? She said, all I have is all. Sometimes what She said, go, go, go get some more vessels. Get some, touch Fellowship brings on relationship. Relationship brings on friendship. That's why it's good that the saints fellowship with one another. Why? Because when you get in trouble, you got a neighbor you can turn to. When the enemy come in, who you going to turn to? You done made everybody in the, in the church, you know, stand off from you because you stand offish. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, if any man in Christ, he's a what? You got to learn how to live new. Some of us have been sinners for years. How you expect to be a saint overnight? Huh? We got years of habits. Come on here, somebody. Some of them old stuff. Amen. Your flesh ain't going to forget how to sin. It still craves stuff. Amen. Some of y'all come to church think some people dead. Everything dead ain't dead. I had to dress that up. Here she is struggling, trying to make ends meet. The creditors has come. The creditors has come to take her sons and make them work to pay off the debt. How's she going to make a living? How's she going to survive? She goes to the man of God. The man of God said, what you got in your house? She said, all I got is some oil. And sometimes if you're going to make it in this world, you got to know what God has placed in you and hold on to that word. Hold on to that oil he's placed in you. Hold on to that vision, that dream he put in you. You got to hold on to it. And then you got to know how to invest it in others. He said, go borrow some vessels. Sometimes the anointing of the, of the Lord stop in the church because we don't, we don't share. We think, I got it all. I'm saved and I'm sanctified and, you know, I don't need nobody. That's a lie from the pit of hell. If, if, if Jesus needed 12 disciples, hmm? Jesus came to the earth. He chose 12. Seven, they start following him. But when he laid the law down, a bunch of them left him. One sold him for 30 pieces of silver. Another one denied him. One wanted to cut somebody's head off. But when they recovered, they were there. They had to grow into it. We want folk to get saved on Sunday and be holy Sunday evening. It don't work that way. The problem with the body of Christ, we forgot who we are. We don't forgot the anointing that's in us. We don't forgot the power God has instructed and given to us. The Bible said you the head and not the tail. The Bible said you above and not beneath. We are letting folk, we are letting that, well, it ain't the folk, it's the devil using them. We are letting the enemy use folk to 
discourage us from doing what God has anointed us to do. Quit being intimidated by folk. Jesus put it this way. Fear not the man that can destroy the body, but fear the one that can cast body and soul into hell. Here's a woman. The prophet said, what you got in your house? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm trying to finish this real quick because I want you to understand that we are vessels of honor. We are vessels of God. If you read in in 2 Timothy chapter 2, the the Bible says the foundation of God standeth sure. He knows those who are his. And if those who name the name of Christ should depart from iniquity, we we should be departing from unbelief. Remember, remember in Hebrews chapter 3, if you read that last verse, the Bible says Israel could not get into the promised land because of unbelief. Unbelief produces all the stuff we fight over. So when we start nitpicking people's lies about what they are, it's because of unbelief. So you got to pray for their faith. Remember when Peter failed? What did Jesus pray for? He didn't pray that Peter be bold. He said, I pray that your faith fail you not. He understood that if we can stand in faith, we can overcome any situation. He understood if we can anchor ourselves in the faith, in the word of faith, we can overcome anything. That's why Paul, when he writes to the church in Colossians chapter 1 verse 23, he said, if you continue in the faith and being rooted and grounded and be, be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. If you're hoping to see Jesus, you got to hang in there. The all stopped because there were no more vessels. The oil stopped because they had no more vessels to pour in. And sometimes, guess what? Envy and jealousy started in the church because we quit sharing. We start looking at each other instead of understanding ain't but one body. Christ is the head. I know, I know, I know. There's some things I can't say, huh? I've been around long enough to know that some things you have to watch out when you say it. Okay. And so Paul began to write to Jesus says this. Jesus says, I think in John's gospel chapter 12, I think verse 32, he said, if I be lifted up from the earth, he said, I'll do what? I'll draw all men where? Under me. The Bible said in Colossians chapter 1, he said, Christ is in you. That's what the scripture said. Christ is in you. But there's another scripture that said, Christ sitting at the right hand. Hold up. So if Christ sitting at the right hand of the Father, Philippians 2 said, God in you, the hope of glory. But yet another scripture said, God sits on the throne. <laughs> What an awesome God. He can be in heaven and you at the same time. Now notice now, he says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. But then he said, if I can be lifted up from where? The earth. If I've already been on the cross. He said, the earth, I need to be lifted up if the earth I'm in. So if I can get you to lift me up in this earthly vessel. He said, I'll draw men. Unto me. Where is me? Me and you. Jesus said, I'm in the Father, Father in me. Behold, I'm in you. He said, so if you lift me up, you're a vessel. Because I put the oil in you. So every time someone come to you, it's your responsibility to share the oil. But if you're going to keep the oil, sooner or later it's going to stay up. I know I got some good cooks in here. I believe I got one over here. That, that, that if all is open and it's not used, it get old. Don't, 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 it loses its, its flavor. Say, say it again, mama. It loses its flavor. And one thing a church can never do is lose the flavor. As a believer, you can never lose the flavor of God. 
You should never lose the love and the, the fragrance and the praise and the worship and who you are in God. The all stopped because there were no more vessels to pull the all in. So that means to the church in our time, if we quit lifting him up, ain't no more vessels coming. So if you want some more vessels to come, you got to start lifting him up. And it's hard to, oh God, let me wrap this up like this. It's hard to lift God up when you got a whole bunch of mess going on at house. When you, uh, if I get out of order, just wave your thing, okay? <laughs> Family issues can be hard issues to deal with. Because we're so personal. We won't make, we want everybody to think we got the perfect family. And some of us are so miserable when we get home. We're so miserable when we get around our family. We're out of place. You're tired of the frustration. You're tired of the bickering, the fighting. God is trying to tell us something. Can I do a sidebar? I got 10 minutes. Can I do a sidebar? If, if you go to, if you go to, if you go to uh, Chronicles 15, can, can I teach for about 15? Can I teach this part? How many got your Bibles? Got your Bibles? Your iPads. Go to, go to Chronicles, Second Chronicles 15. I want to show you something. I, I, I know some of y'all there already. I wish I could work them phones like y'all. <laughs> Second Chronicles 15. Remember, the all stayed because there were no one more what? Vessels. The anointing stops in the church because you got to understand we're the vessels that the Holy Ghost is in. We must continue to allow the love to flow through us. The love of God to flow through us. It stops when there's no more vessels. Because we become what? Selfish. In Second Chronicles chapter 15, if you read from the first verse all the way down to the seventh verse. Here the prophet Isaiah uh, talks to Asa. Asa is the king of Israel now and he has taken over from his father who was wicked so that that eliminates the fact if my daddy bad I'm going to be bad that's not an excuse anymore with God Jesus when he died on the cross he killed every curse and we're not under the law but under grace I know what folk are teaching out there you got to know the word. And the Bible says, he tell Asa. He said, Asa, in the third verse, long as you with God, he's with you. But if you forsake him, he going to forsake you. But notice now, we got a better covenant because Asa didn't have an intercessor. We have an intercessor called Jesus. Who sits at the right hand of God making an intercession for you and I. According to Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. He's the same yesterday, today and forevermore. He said I'll never leave you neither will I forsake you. If you go back to the fifth verse in Hebrews 13. But let's, let's read on. I want to show you something. Now he challenged Asa and said there was a time when Israel did not have the true God or, or teaching priests. He said, notice now, there were a point in their lives that they didn't have that, Asa. But he said, when they didn't have it, Asa, he said, there was an issue going on in the nation. That's why I'm trying to share you, share today with you. It's important. Don't let the oil stop in the house of God. 
These are because in that day, men were scared to come out or even scared to go in. You got folk today in America too scared to come out their house and too scared to go back in. They got to be in for dark. They're afraid of the neighborhood they lives in. The situation that's going on around them, people are afraid. Seniors are afraid. Mothers are afraid. They're afraid. Children are afraid. You don't know what to do when you hear a noise about the school. In Columbia, that's how many schools been under threat. They're implementing the schools out constantly in Columbia, a bomb threat. I ain't talking about little small schools. I'm talking about large schools. Scared to come out and come in. But then he tells Asa this. He said, nation was against nation. City against city. People are against each other. They forgot who they are. We're the call out. Here's what he's trying to tell Asa. God chose us, Asa. We were, we were Israel. We were chosen. In the New Testament, we are the chosen of God. You're the ecclesiastic. You're the anointing of God. He chose us out of darkness and brings us into the marvelous light. And he's telling us, you in honor, you're a vessel of honor. I need the vessel, the oil to flow through you. Oil don't flow just because it's out there. It needs something to flow through. Then he tells Asa in the seventh verse. He said, Asa, I, I, need, I need to read that. I need to read it. Can we go old school for a second? You, you got it, baby? Read it out loud. Seven verse. Be ye strong, strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak. For your work shall be rewarded. He said, be strong, Asa. Don't let your hand be weak. Don't get slack in what God called you to do. Don't get slack in who you are. You are God's vessel. You're going to be challenged. You're going to be pushed on. You're going to be rejected. You're going to go through some hell that you don't want to go through. Families and members going to be against you. He had to put his own mama out of the position because she was worshiping an idol. Kicked her out of the queenship. There's some folk going to lose your, your, your position because you failed to walk with God. Your title ain't going to get you in God's heaven. He said, don't be slack, Asa. Put your hands to the work. Don't let it be weak. Don't let it be slack. You're going to be criticized. They're going to pick on you. Your friends going to pick on you, young people, when you decide you're going to do the right thing. They're going to laugh at you. Young ladies, they're going to laugh at you. Child, you ain't did it yet. Come on, man. I don't want to use the wrong term they, they say in the street. But you feel me. <laughs> and you give up your position in the kingdom to satisfy some egotistical mindset that want to fulfill some lust for flesh. When we are the vessels of God. I would love to preach a sermon. Everybody just dancing and shouting. But that ain't real. How you going to shout when you got bills? I talked to a pastor the other night. I went to visit a pastor to talk with him and his ministers. He said his son had went to jail. How you going to dance with your son in prison, in jail? He didn't want to go get him, but his wife said, hey, I got to go get my boy. You know how mothers are. She going to get him. <laughs> Don't get in trouble. We are the vessels of God. Am I making sense? We are God's vessel. Those who are listening to me at home, you are God's vessel. Allowing the adversary to talk you down on who you are. Don't let your hand be weak in applying it to the things of God. 
And I say this with all humility. You used to be on the choir, get back. You used to be an usher, get the ushering. Get back. God needs you. The kingdom needs you. Quit sitting on the oil. Let it flow. Somebody needs your oil. Somebody's depending on you to lift up Jesus. He's that all of God in you. Somebody's depending on you to pray them through. Somebody's depending on you to be sure that they can find an encouraging word. Somebody's depending on you. What are you going to do? Let the oil stay? Because they hurt my feelings. They said, you don't know how they treated me. And you, and you just don't know. They treated me so bad. And you just don't know, bitch. <laughs> Y'all know how we do. If they ain't put no nails in your hand and your feet, and they ain't hung you on no cross, shake off that mess and say goodbye. I'm not living my life to please you. I'm living my life to please the Lord. And I'm not going to let you put junk in me anymore. I know who I am. I was called out of darkness. I'm God's righteousness. I'm God's child. I'm a children of God. I'm a joint heir of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. I have God's anointing in me. Praise the name of the Lord. And the anointing will destroy any yoke. I wish I had 10 more folk would agree with me and jump on your feet. And just let the enemy know my hand ain't going to get slack. I'm not going to back up on my testimony. I might have went through some stuff. I might have went through this. I went through that. But the Lord brought me through. I said a whole lot but I hope I challenge you to understand who you are quit letting folk take advantage of who you are you are God's anointed I'll close with this one in 1st John chapter 2 verse 27 he said the anointing which abide in you abide with you forever God don't take back what he puts in you. What he does, he brings your consciousness to an awareness so you can start operating in what he put in you and not operating in what you think your flesh should be doing. So what if you fail? Get up. You don't quit driving because you wrecked a car. You go get another one. Huh? That's what you do, don't you? All right, brother John. Huh? You ain't gonna walk. You ain't gonna walk ten miles to work. You gonna get in debt some more and get you another car. So why do we do God that way? So what if you fall down? So what if folks saw you? So what if you, they happened to see you last night in the wrong place? So what? If they saw you, that must be they were pretty close. Either they were in there, you're in there. That country came out real deep that time. You good with me? All right. Come on. How many want to be a vessel that the Lord can use? How many want to be a vessel? that God can just use listen quit being intimidated quit being intimidated on what folks say you are and be who God say you are I'm proud of all of you I'm proud of our young people I'm proud of you doing great things don't be intimidated by people we need heart surgeons amen we need chiropractors. I'm getting old. Amen. We need foot doctors. 
What'd you call them? That name. Thank you, John. We, we need eye doctors. Hey, Amen. We, 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 we need you. We're getting older. We're getting older. We need you. And I hope I said something today that challenged you. Make you think about real life that we live here on this earth. It's temporary, but God wants you to live abundantly. It's a temporary life, but he wanted you to live abundantly. He don't want you living under stress. Why I'm saying that? Because I lived under stress and I had a stroke. I was fortunate enough to recover. He allowed me to recover. God don't want you under stress. That's the enemy. That's folk. If you want to be that true vessel of God, I need you to step out in this aisle and say, God, I'm, I'm making a, a recommitment myself to you. I'm going to be a vessel that you all can flow through. That I can impact other people's lives. Come on. Let's pray together. It don't matter what the situation is. God can fix anything. Abraham asked, is there anything too hard for God? He said, no. He said, I can make a woman now to have a baby. I can make a man 99 produce a child. If anything too hard, and I don't think anybody in here 90 or 99. So whatever you're going through ain't hard. It's not too hard for God. We need to be the vessels that God can flow through. We need to be the vessels that the anointing can flow through. We need to be the vessels. Don't let your oil stop because somebody hurt you. Don't let your oil stop. Because you were mistreated. You survive. You survive. That's another. You, that's another one to get in on, on, on this prayer. You need to come. You need to come quickly. I'm getting ready to I'm getting ready to close it out. I'm getting ready to close it out. I'm getting ready to close it out. You better come. You better come. God needs vessels he can use. He needs vessels he can pour all in and pour into other vessels. He needs he need vessels. You a vessel of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, here we are. Surrendering our vessels to you. We know we're not perfect. We realize that, but we need you, God. We need you to purge us to turn us so we won't be afraid to go in and come out but we can be bold in this gospel we can be bold in the love of Christ we can share it with the world we can share it so simple and powerful that the wayfaring man won't have an excuse use us as the vessels of God Pull your all through us in the name of Jesus. And give us as men, give us wisdom that we won't leave our families in turmoil. But we be men of wisdom and understanding, counsel and might in the name of Jesus. I thank you right now. I thank you, Lord. I bless you. I honor you. I glorify you. Let not our hands be slack in what you anoint us to do. But let us be bold and be about our Father's business. As we lift you up from this earth 
you draw men unto you. Let us lift you up in love. Not in hate. Not in jealousy. But in love, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're not afraid, throw your arms around somebody and tell them, I'm the vessel of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the all getting ready to flow through me. He's a mighty fortress, a mighty fortress. I'm God's vessel. He's a mighty fortress, a mighty fortress. I'm God's vessel. He's a solid rock. He's a solid rock. He's a mighty fortress, he's a mighty fortress, he's a mighty fortress, he's a mighty fortress, 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 a mighty as we lift our hands to him God bless you man good to see you man I miss you I miss y'all man I miss you all you good bro you good you good man love you man